I'm here with Farmer Tony at Desert Marigold School. Hello everyone and welcome to our biodynamic garden here at Desert Marigold School. And we're going to give you a brief tour to show you where we are here at the very middle part of March 2013. Okay, starting right off the bat, and it's bright out here so I'm putting on my glasses. You'll see that the garden is designed in a sheer shape um, formation so that we have this wonderful uh, flow form going on here. We have lettuce, carrots planted here. Right here we have our herb garden. The center beds are parsley, cilantro, and arugula. I like to make this into a somewhat of a maze, so I grow tall uh, sunflowers uh, on the border of this plot. You'll see, as we go through the garden, a lot of irrigation lines. These are tea tape. That's a brand name of uh, flat tape irrigate, irrigating lines that have emitters at every eight inches. Moving along, we have in our garden several beds dedicated for various classes. Uh, they are located right here. So we have the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and eighth graders are represented in this area. I want to show you what we do to ensure that our bees, we have two hives, get fed well. This is Mizuna that has gone to seed and it is just brimming with bees. Uh, I will be harvesting honey uh, probably on Sunday from our, our two hives. These beds as you can see are raised. They're raised because organic material is added to them on a regular basis. Here in the dry desert, we have uh, so much heat and so little moisture in the, in the air that organic material literally um, dissipates. So you have to continually add more organic material. And that comes from the property? That's right. In biodynamic gardening, we specifically take everything that's on our property and turn it back on itself. We have a composting area that is almost a third the size of the garden, generating biodynamic pro, uh, compost to go back into these beds. So when I put compost on, I don't just sprinkle it on, I put wheelbarrow falls on it. And then I, I turn that back into the soil and I am happy to say after four years in uh, this garden we now have fertility and I think you can see that out here right now. I want to end this by showing you one of the coolest things we got going here. I think the second on these borage blossoms. Borage goes here. Yeah. These guys are star-like blue flowers that have the, the flavor of cucumber. Mm. So excuse me while I pop one of these in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Yum. That is very tasty. So folks, if you're interested in what you see here, I would encourage you to come to a workshop this Sunday uh, through the Valley Permaculture Alliance. We're going to show people how to design these beds, to form them, to put the fertility into them, and then make these really incredible edible landscapes. It's been my pleasure talking to you. Thank Enjoy. you, Farmer Tony. You're welcome.